All right, so we have a hypotenuse of an isosceles right triangle that decreases in length at four meters per second. So we're gonna always start these out with the some basic pieces of information. What is given to us? What do we know are known information? And what are we trying to find? So our given information with this is that the hypotenuse so what is that, an isosceles right triangle? I wanna make sure I label everything. So I have two sides that I'm gonna go ahead and label X, they are the same length. I know that because that's what an isosceles triangle is. I have a 90 degree angle, and I'm gonna call this other side, the, hypo the hypotenuse in this case, let's just go ahead and call it L for length right now. So what I'm given is that the hypotenuse decreases in length at four meter, meters per second. That is in reference to what I have labeled as L. So I'm gonna say that DL over DT is equal to four meters per second. But remember, again, since it's decreases, that is a negative. It's really important that you don't forget this. Anytime you have a decreasing rate, make sure when you label it, you label it as a negative. Just be careful you don't say it decreases at a negative four meters per second. We can say that DL DT is negative four meters per second or that it decreases at four meters per second. All right, what else do I know? Well, in this case, I have two things. I know that I'm talking about area. So I know that the area of a triangle is one half the base times height, which in this case is gonna be x squared. The base and the height is x and x, so that's gonna be x squared. The other thing that I know and I'm gonna use here is the Pythagorean theorem, which is x squared plus x squared is equal to l squared or 2x squared is equal to uh, L squared. And what rate are we looking for? We're looking for at what rate the area is changing. So we want to find dA dt, the area is changing over time, when x is equal to 5, when the two legs of the triangle are 5 meters. All right, what we just did is probably the most important step is making sure that we have all of our given information. What we know comes from our background knowledge, our formulas from geometry, and then what we are trying to find in the question. Since we are trying to find DAT, DADT, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my known area formula. I'm gonna go ahead and start that I know that the area is equal to 1 half of x squared. And since I want to find dA dt, I want to take d dt of both sides, the derivative with respect to time. That will go ahead and give me the derivative with respect to time. And again, just remember the derivative of a is equal to 1 here. And now I have the derivative of x with respect to time. That one half is my constant, and then the derivative of the inside, that is one half times two times x to the first power, or dA dt is equal to dx over dt times x. All right, now for the second part of this question. You will see that we needed to find dA dt because that was what we were looking at here. That's our, what our find was. That was our first step. But you'll also see that we are given this dL dt. The derivative of the length is negative 4 meters per second. So now I have to go through and use my second known equation, which is my 2x squared is equal to uh, L squared. So let's go ahead and look at this one. That is x squared, 2x squared is equal to l squared. I want to go ahead and take d 
dt with respect to both of these. Then I am left with dx dt of 2 times 2x is equal to dl dt of 2l. And again, that 2l is the dl dt is a derivative of l with respect to t. Then I take the derivative of l squared, which is my 2t. All right, now remember, again, the final goal is to find uh, dA dt, which is just dx dt times x when x is 5. So what I have to do right now is solve for dx dt. So let's go through and finish that. We have dx over dt is equal to dl over dt times 2L, and I'm just dividing both by 4X, so this is also over 4X. All right, let's go ahead and put it all together now. I have that dA over dt is equal to dx over dt times x. So I'm going to take all of this and substitute it here. So now I have dA over dt is equal to dl over dt times 2L over 4X times X. All right, so before we look at this, I know that I have dl dt that was given to us. That's minus 4 meters per second. I know I have x. So the next thing I need to do is find out how I'm going to replace this l. And to do that, I go back over to this formula here. I know that l squared is equal to 2x squared. So that tells me that L, L is the square root of 2x squared, or just x times the square root of 2. Now we are done. All right, so before we go ahead and substitute everything, and let's just clean this up a little bit, dA dt is going to go ahead and equal dl dt, which in this case is going to be negative 4 meters per second. The 2's will make that 1 half. Those two x's also cancel out, so that's going to be 1 half times l, and we just said that l was equal to x square root of 2. And going back to our given information one more time, I know x is equal to 5. And x is uh, 5 meters from the beginning. So our area is changing at a rate of negative 10 square root of 2 meters squared per second when the legs of the triangle are equal to 5 meters.